Let's go back to the year 2013, a time when Vine was the most popular social media platform and Lloyd was the pop star of the year. It was that year when the world saw the introduction of iOS 7. It released marked a new era of graphic design. It introduced the now popular flat user interface design, marking an end for the skeuomorphic design. Today we'll be discussing the history of iOS 7 development as well as user reactions, criticisms, controversies and its impact on the mobile operating system industry. iOS 7 was announced on June 10, 2013 at the Worldwide Developer Conference also known as WWDC 13 and was officially released on September 18, 2013 alongside the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5C. iOS 7 shifted to a new user interface design. Before iOS 17, Apple was using a skeuomorphic UI design so every app and every button looked as if it was in real life. But now in iOS 7, Apple decided to shift gears to a flat, modern and minimal UI design approach that by your eye. iOS 7 also comes with advancement in development tools and technology. For the first time, Apple finally allowed developers to make custom keyboard available system-wide, allowing developers and users to easily customize keyboards in iOS with different themes. UIKit Dynamics, which was introduced in iOS 7, allows developers to incorporate realistic physics-based animations into their app. This framework made it easier to create visually engaging and responsive user interfaces. There were also huge announcements like Test Flight, which allows developers to distribute based beta versions of their apps for testing with ease and the adoption of 64-bit architecture which improved the performance of iOS. As iOS 7 had a new design, apps had to be updated by both Apple and third-party developers. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of different apps before and after iOS 7. But not everything was sunshine and rainbows. There were a lot of criticisms and controversy. Almost everyone at the time pointed out that iOS 7's user interface design was too minimal and too flat. Some buttons didn't seem like buttons and more like tech. Heck, someone even made a tutorial for designing iOS 7 icons in Microsoft Paint and the video is still up to this day. For a better look at iOS 7's controversy, check out a video from another great YouTuber, Apple Explained. Despite the criticisms and controversies of iOS 7, everyone settled. And to this day, with iOS 70, the user interface design of iOS is still based on iOS 7 with a minimal and flat approach. Although there are rumors of a new design in iOS 18 inspired by Vision OS and Mac OS, and I think that it's a right part as the design is almost 10 years old and really needed a refresh. In retrospect, iOS 7's 2013 release for Volusia 9 Mobile UI Design, bidding farewell to skeuomorphism, its impact resonates in today's iOS 17, showcasing a long-lasting legacy despite initial criticisms. From a new flat design and development tools to app overhauls, iOS 7 paved the way for a sleek and minimal interface. Despite mixed user reactions, its enduring influence is undeniable, shaping the visual language for iOS for years to come.